Hey, what's up guys, Tanmay here, back with another video for our channel Simple Snippets. So in this video tutorial, we'll see another type of problem sum, wherein we'll be given a Boolean algebraic expression and we need to prove the LHS is equal to RHS. Now this can be done in two methods. So let's see what they are. Okay, so as you can see on the screen, I've been given a question wherein I have to prove LHS is equal to RHS. This is the LHS part and this is the RHS part. So in the first method, we either start with the LHS or RHS and move on to the RHS or LHS respectively. That is if I start with LHS, I will apply the Boolean algebraic laws till I reach RHS or vice versa. Note that in some cases, LHS is not equal to RHS and we just need to find out. So it can be a trick question as well. Also you need to decide carefully which side you need to start. That is, you need to either start with LHS or RHS. Usually start with that side which has more variables or complex functions. Now in this case, we know LHS is larger than RHS as there are more variables involved in this case. So I'll start with the LHS. So the LHS is as follows. So notice that in these two terms, we have Z common. So I can take it out and can be further simplified as X, Y or Z and Y or Y complement. Now this is by the distributive law. Now if you don't know the Boolean algebraic laws or these basic rules and operations of Boolean algebra, you can check them out in this playlist where we have discussed about these various operations and laws. Now the next step we get is x, y or z and 1. Now how did I get this 1? We know y or y complement is equal to 1. Now this is due to the complement law. So the next and the last step would be x, y or z since anything and 1 is equal to that thing and this is the identity law. Now notice that in each step we required a Boolean algebraic law. So these basic laws are very important in order to simplify equations and Boolean algebraic expressions. Now this answer that we reached of LHS is exactly similar to the RHS over here. Hence by method 1 we have proved that LHS is equal to RHS. Now let's see how the method 2 works. Now in method 2 we use truth tables to prove LHS is equal to RHS. So let me just fill out these values first. Now since you know there are 3 variables the number of variations of input is 2 raised to 3 which is equal to 8. So I'll just fill out the input values. Okay, so I have filled the input values. So let's see what all components we need in LHS. We need x, y. So I have written it over here. We need y, z. So I have written it over here. We need y complement z. For that we first need y complement which is in this column. And then finally I have calculated y complement z. Now for the LHS part, we need to make a OR operation between these three components. So I'll calculate that in this column. And for the RHS part, we just need x, y and z component which is over here. So let me just calculate these intermediate values first. Okay, so I have calculated the intermediate values. Now for the LHS, as I mentioned earlier, I need to take an OR operation between x, y, y, z and y complement z. So I'll just calculate the LHS. Okay, so I have calculated the LHS. Now I just need to calculate the RHS. For the RHS part, I need x, y and z and I just need to take a OR operation between these two values. So I'll just do that. Okay, so I calculated the RHS. Now if you compare LHS and RHS, for every case, LHS is always equal to RHS. Hence by using method 2, that is the use of truth tables, we have proved that LHS is equal to RHS. So these are the two basic methods which can be used to solve problems wherein you need to prove LHS is equal to RHS or vice versa. That's it for this video guys. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. If you have any queries or comments or suggestions, drop them in the comment section below. Also subscribe to our channel so that you get notified when we upload the next video. Peace.